This video is a production of the College of Arts and Sciences at Eastern Kentucky University and has been made possible through an EPSCoR grant from the National Science Foundation. Of course, all the water on the, on the planet is interconnected. Small streams feed into larger streams which feed into rivers like the Kentucky River and so we have to know all the components in order to understand the whole. My name is Walter Borowski. I'm a professor of geology here at Eastern Kentucky University. And I and my students are very, very interested in water quality of the region. Water is so, so important to all of us. Obviously for humans, we drink it, we bathe in it, we use it to cook, we grow our crops with it, we use it to water our animals, and of course we like recreation as well. It's hard to imagine a life without boating and swimming and fishing within our natural your water. your last stop, and it's going, to be real, it's going to be another really nice area, I think. Water quality is dictated by land use. That is how humans use the land. Because however we use the land, those are the kinds of contaminants we're going to see go into natural waters like streams and lakes. As it turns out, it's very obvious if you're in an industrial area, you expect to see industrial pollutants enter the water. It's a little bit different here in Madison County because we have mainly rural areas with towns like Richmond or Berea sprinkled within the county. What this means is we're going to see mainly rural pollutants enter lakes and streams. IMI students are presently investigating the Otter Creek watershed, and the Otter Creek watershed has its headwaters in Richmond. However, only about 5 to 10 percent of the entire watershed area is covered by the footprint of Richmond. The rest of the area is rural in character. The kind of contaminants we see mostly from rural areas are in the form of excess nutrients or in the form of fecal bacteria, that is bacteria which is coming from human and animal waste. When we talk about nutrients, we're talking about dissolved nitrogen, dissolved phosphate within the natural waters. And although nutrients are absolutely essential to ecosystem health, especially water ecosystem health, if you have too many nutrients, it actually degrades the water quality. When we go out to the field, we take a number of different kinds of water samples. We take water samples in which we're going to actually measure the dissolved nutrients, dissolve nitrogen, and dissolve phosphate within. And we also take samples which uh, in which we're going to measure for our fecal bacteria as well. Fluorescent tag, and the fluorescent tag goes from the media and into the bacteria. It's important to investigate the water quality of this region because in assessing the water quality of the world, we can only move from local out to larger and larger areas until we assess the global uh, quality of water that we see on our planet. Student-oriented research is really, really important to me for a number of different reasons. First of all, it is absolutely the best way to learn. And of course, what we have to do is produce the next generation of professionals which can assess water quality. And that's why I love to get out in the field. I love to get in the laboratory with my students and assess the water quality of our area. In order to count uh, the fecal bacteria within our water samples, and specifically the E. coli within the water samples, what we first do is dump some media into these cups. Those media actually contain fluorescent tags which will be incorporated by the E. coli and they'll fluoresce under UV light, under black light a little bit later so we can actually count how many bacteria forming colonies occur when every sample. Looks like it should fit, shouldn't it? Okay. Assessing water quality is simple yet difficult. It's simple because we know what to test for. It's difficult because the water is constantly changing over time and we can't take enough samples in order to document that entire change. A significant finding of our research has been that the water quality in Madison County is good. The local streams and local lakes are in pretty good shape. They have some contaminants within them, but the water quality is pretty good. Assessing water quality is important to each and every one of us because we drink the water, we use the water, we recreate with the water, we have to know how good or bad that water is.